Okay, guys, uh, back with you. We're going to show you how to uh, create a drawing in a title block, and this will be what you will turn into me for a grade. So after each uh, example, you're going to create a model like this. You're going to save it in a directory that you choose, probably your USB drive. And the next step will be to create a uh, drawing. And we're going to go here to this eye in the corner, click it, go to New. And the first time when you create, you're going to use this part. And that's what you see here. We are in English, so the units are going to be in inches. And we're going to go down here to ANSI Inches IDW. And I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click Create. After you get your title block, you're going to go up here to Base View and click it, left-click it, and go here to the Change View Orientation. And I'm trying to get this surface as my front view. So I'm looking in this direction, and I want to see this side of the part. So I'm going to go up. You may have to move your cube around to get that, but all I have to do is click that left button or the left side of that cube, and it straightens it up the way I want it. And I just click Finish Custom View. And it comes in, and you may have to check your scale on s sometimes. This scale looks pretty good, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. If you needed to change it, you could come here, and I can make that two, th two times the scale, the normal scale, but you can see that's too large, so I'm going to bring it back to one to one. And because this is the first part that you made, the computer already knows which part you're bringing in. But you may have to go here and browse, click this button and browse to your USB drive by clicking here, locating the, your USB drive here somewhere. But since I'm already in my, uh, you know, this is the first drawing we've made, so it knows. So I haven't clicked anything yet, but I'm going to come down here and drop that in. I just left click one time. I'm going to move the mouse up, click, left click again, move down, bring this over here, and left click again. I'm going to move the mouse up, left click one time, then right click, and then move over to create and left click. And now I have my four views. I have my front view looking from this direction. That's my front view. Here's my top view and my right side view. And if you have any problems uh, visualizing any of these objects, we do have all of the shapes over by the 3D printer. So you can go and get those and take a look at them. After you get your four views in, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to annotate. And then you're going to go over here to this icon, which is Create a Center Mark. I'm going to click left-click it one time. I'm going to come down and click. I'm going to highlight that circle. When it turns red, I'm going to click it one time, and I get that center mark. Okay, I'm going to come back up. I'm going to get the center line bisector. I'm going to left-click it one time. And I'm going to come down here and choose the two hidden lines that represent the hole on both views, one, two, and I get my center mark for those. Okay, now I want to go to Dimension, and for every hole you have, you're going to have three dimensions that you have to provide to me, an X and a Y and a diameter. So with my dimension highlighted, I'm going to choose this side of the part, and I'm going to click that center line right on that green dot, and I'm going to come up and drop that in and hit OK. I'm going to come down to this mark, click this line, drop that in by left-clicking and left-clicking OK. And 
I'm still in dimension, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to highlight that hole, left click it one time, come down and left click it, and left click OK. If you make any mistakes along the way, all you have to do is come up here to your back button, and it will erase the last thing you've done, or you can bring it back by undoing there. So I have all my three dimensions for my hole, so I've located it, and I'm great with that. This view, you won't have to do anything to, to it as far as dimension-wise. All the dimensions are going to go here. I'm going to go back to my dimension. And on the right side view, I like to always put my overall height. So I choose this line and this line and drop in my overall height. I need to give a thickness, so I'm going to choose this line and this one. Come over. Hit OK. I'm going to come here. Choose this line and this one. Click OK. I'm going to choose this one and this one. Here's a lot. I'm going to show you some of the mistakes I see. Some some guys will do this. They'll come in here and give me dimensions like that. What I'm looking for, if you come here to get out of that dimension command, I can right click and left click OK. And I can come down here and just grab that with my left mouse button and line those back up. S you can see the little move icon that comes along with the cursor. So I can just move that right up. I'm looking for a line dimension just like that straight across. So don't give me those up and down. I'll, I'm going to take off with that. Um, I need to come here. Give me this dimension. I got to go. I'm sorry. I got to go back here. Get in dimension. Click that one. Come over. OK. I'm going to click this line and this one and get that one. Okay, see how these, these dimensions are evenly spaced out? They, it looks, you know, just like a painting. What I don't want to see is this. I don't want to see here or something like that. Don't give me that. Give me this. Right in the middle. Evenly spaced. Um, trying to see if there's any other dimensions we need. I think that is all. Um, we'll go to our title block here. And, you, and again, you're going to do this every time you make a model. You're going to give me this drawing to turn in. Go to your text block. Just left click one time. And I'm going to use my scroll button to zoom in to that area. And under title, Anywhere here, just left click one time. And in, in this area, you're going to type in capital C, two point zero. And don't uh, hit OK or enter yet. I want you to come here and highlight it. Come up to the size. Click it, go down to 240. Hit OK. Come back to this area left click, type in your name, capital letter of, of each name first, highlight it, come up to size, go to 240, hit OK. That's not, in, that's not centered up yet, but we're going to come back to that and take care of that. On each drawing, you're going to have to give me a material. We can't, we could not, if we had all the right dimensions and everything, you cannot build this unless you know what material. So come out here, left click, capital M, colon, space, and any suitable metal or carbon fiber, anything you want to put there. Highlight it, go to size, 240, hit OK. Now, if you see that yellow dot following you there, to get out of the text command, what you have to do is come here, right click, and then left click OK. Now I can come over here to your name and just hold down my left mouse button and straighten that up. Here's what I don't want to see. I'm going to take off of that. We want everything neat, just like a painting. OK, 
Okay. Now, same deal. You'll go here, File, Save As. And what you can do is make sure you come here and choose your USB drive. Put it in the same directory as you're drawing. Save this as Chapter 2.0. Hit save. Don't worry about that screen. As long as it's telling me that I didn't, both of my drawings weren't in the same place. So if you guys make sure you put it in the same directory. Okay, once you get this, you're going to go to back up to the eye, click it, go down to print. You're going to come here and choose this printer here. You can see you can see that. Go to properties. Where it says letter, you're going to give me a eight, not an eight and a half by eleven, but eleven by seventeen, right here. Hit OK. Make sure you change it from model one to one to best fit. Then preview it. Everything looks good. You hit print. It sends it to the printer. If you see a problem. Hit close, go back and take care of it, then come back and do the same steps. And again, this is what you're going to do for every model you create. You're going to submit this drawing to me and fold it with the information side out, put it on the right-hand corner of my desk in that uh, burgundy box, and after I grade it, I'll put it on the round table. And you can, best thing to do is pick it up, take a look at it where I marked it up, and uh, if you make any corrections and turn it back in, I will change your grade. So if you, I, I'm giving you the incentive to um, make all your corrections, and I'll change your grade. All right, guys. See you next time.